Hi, this is Chef Janie, and today we're going to take a turn of what we're covering. My little kitchen tip for the day will be how to reuse your candles. Now here I just have a simple jar candle, and as you can see it has burned to the bottom, but there is still plenty of good wax in here. Now, the wick is no good. What we're going to do is you need one glass jar that's clean that I got from another kind of candle, and I just washed it out. We need one three to four inch wick. Straighten that out. And you'll need one glue gun. And we've got this plugged in and it's heating now. And when that's ready, we're just going to put a dab of glue on the bottom of this wick. And we're just going to stick it down here onto the center of our candle. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring about a half a cup of water to an almost, almost simmering. We're going to take our jar candle Mm, that smells so good. This is called the um, Festival of Lights, and it smells very cinnamony, very almost Christmassy. Might be why they call it Festival of Lights, I guess. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna float the candle in like so, and we're going to put the heavy wooden spoon on here to kind of hold it down. Okay, okay, we just put a little bit of uh, hot melt glue on the bottom of this, and we're just going to press this into the bottom of the jar. You can use a sucker stick or a toothpick to help you uh, if you're afraid of getting burned. Okay, we're just going to let that cool. Now, now over here, I've taken this, once this came up to about a simmer, I've just pulled it off the heat. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're just going to let it kind of finish melting. And if you can, dig out this old wick bottom piece. Being very careful, we're just going to pour this liquid back into the candle. There you go. Careful to make sure you set this on something that is heat proof. Now to hold this upright like this, now we're just going to take a flat butter knife and to hold that wick up, directly up. There we go. That looks centered to me. And there you have it. When it dries, it will look like this. Mmm, strawberry. That smells so good. Now as far as the old jar goes, all we have to do is clean this up. We have a lid for it, and voila, we've got another candle holder. Remember to recycle. It's very important, especially in the kitchen, where most of your waste takes place in the household. This is Chef Janie with my kitchen tip for the day. Enjoy.